Okay, so this is going to be a bit different because this isn't the first foreign film I'm reviewing, but it's the first Korean film I'm reviewing. And I have a confession to make. I am so deep into K-pop. Like, I'm out of control. It started with one song and I was like, it started with just one song, one group, and I was like, I'm done. I like these guys, I'm done though. And then I'm waiting for um, Pretty Rap Star subs and I'm looking for season one of Show Me The Money and no one has it and I'm dying here. And I'm, I will probably wait for a Big Bang comeback to the rest of my life, along with the Icon debut and along with the Five Minutes Before Chaos subs. I'm deep in it now, I'm out of control, so I figured it's time to watch Korean movies with people that I know, no random movies, people that I know. And I know only a few actors, so I decided to go with the ones that I know. Starting with Top. Top, top, top. If anybody out there knows Big Bang, which you should, everybody needs a little Big Bang in their lives. Top is a rapper, but he's also an actor. He wants to be an actor, so I figured, hey, let's check out his movies. I've seen two so far. Commitment is the first one. Um, this movie was bizarre. Like, I wanted to like it. I did like it, but I think I just liked it because I was being entertained by Top on screen because he's great. I mean, he's entertaining as hell. But this movie had no plot. And it's not that it didn't have any plot. It's a, It was like half the movie was missing. Things were happening and you didn't know why and you just went with it and that's it. It's a shorter movie. It's 2 hours 40. So it's not that bad. It's not it's not slow or anything. It's not boring, but it's like what is this? The basic plot is Top, whose real name is Choi Seung Hyun. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know. He is from North Korea. As far as I understood the movie, oh my god, the movie was confusing as hell. Um He's from North Korea, and he has a little sister, and their father is killed in the beginning, in South Korea. And they are caught trying to cross the border. Why? I don't know. How they get caught? I don't know. What's the punishment? I have no idea. Um, suddenly, Top becomes a spy. Because that's what happens. Uh, and he moves to South Korea a couple years later, and he is adopted by a couple who seems shady, like, I have no idea what happened to them, like, I have no idea what their story was, um, and he becomes a spy. Apparently people are, some people, I don't know who, are killing North Korean spies, agents, why, I have no idea, who are they killing, I have no idea, how did Top find out, I have no idea, how did North Korea find out, I have no idea, the movie doesn't explain that, um, Suddenly he goes out and starts killing people because that's what apparently he does How did he find people to kill? I have no idea. He just suddenly knows who's an agent He suddenly knows who needs to kill that was never explained in the movie He just goes out and it's like the weirdest cuts ever like he's just Doing stuff Why I have no idea what happened to his sister? I don't know. Like, why was she there? I don't know. Why did he need to save her? Who he needed to save her from? I I cannot answer these questions. But I was entertained by the movie. It's a movie without... It, 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 it's not that it doesn't have a plot. It's the plot is not explained. Um, Things just happen. Maybe I spaced out for like 47 minutes and I missed the whole setup. But it wasn't just the beginning that was confusing. It was the entire movie. Characters came in and out of scenes, and you have no idea who they are. It's like they show a group of men talking, and it seems really important. And you're like, who are these people? What are they talking about? I have no idea what's happening. Like, it seems important. They seem important. They're looking for top. Who are they? 
what are they doing what are they talking about i'm reading the subtitles i have no idea what this means like i'm reading subtitles that i have no idea if they have anything to do with anything um i was incredibly entertained though from the beginning when he said i'm 16 years old i cried <laughs> He's like 28 and he's playing a 16 year old in the beginning and it was so ridiculous. But I loved the fight scenes because he always fought in a suit. He looked damn good in a suit and fighting random people with soda cans and shit. It was entertaining as hell. Uh, the ending was... The ending? I... Yeah, that happened. Uh, I... I have no idea what happened in this movie. Like. Did he know that his dad got killed in the beginning? It seemed like he did. I. Wh who was his dad? I don't know. Why was he? Why was he being arrested? I have no idea. What was that weird lady in the beginning where, with the restaurant, who comes back later? I have no idea who she was. She seemed important. Uh, I don't know. But I was entertained by a movie with a plot that I couldn't follow. So that says something. Uh, I think I just like seeing Top, that's it. I think I liked him, and that's it. And I mean, I was interested because the girl uh, who plays his sister, they were together in uh, Running Man, who's a, which is a great show, Running Man, they were there together. And uh, they said, oh, he plays it, her brother and things like that. I was like, oh, oh that, that's the movie then. Commitment. Don't watch it, just don't. I mean, if you like Top, watch it, but if not, oh my god, no. <laughs> 너하고 네 동생 리에인이 여기서 살아남을 수 있는 방법 딱한 가지 돼 공작원이 되라 넌 위에 누가 있냐? 내 동생이 기다립니다 요즘 이쪽 상황이 심상치가 않다 돌아가는 일이 쉽지는 않을 거다 저 무조건 돌아갑니다 공부로 돌아간 기술자는 없다 그렇다고 네가 여기서는 살수 있을 것 같아 Chuck,